Liz. Morning. Morning. We're in the same room again. Yeah. Welcome back. I Thanks missed you. Yeah. Uh, um, just for the record, wasn't for those of you who don't listen to the radio, I wasn't off. Somebody was like, oh, I can't believe he's doing the radio on his holidays. Yeah, off. Poor wasn't guy. They make him do it. Uh, I was doing a course in Dublin and uh, the first two days of it were yesterday. There'll be more days coming up. But um, yeah, that's where I have been for the past two days. If you listen to the radio, you'd know that. Uh, weather-wise today, um, our Indian summer that Elaine mentioned yesterday uh, kicks off today, really, because um, we're supposed to see fairly decent spells of sunshine across all parts of the county and good temperatures as well. Uh, parts of the kingdom today, 17 to 19 in, uh, in places. And there are different parts of Ireland, in particular on the Midlands, that are going to hit about 21 today. So wow. not bad. yeah. Amazing. But, uh, about 18 or 19 degrees on average in Kerry and wall-to-wall sunshine. So it's going to be good. It's going to be a good, uh, good bit of sunshine for today. Um, I've been checking out today's papers. Of course, the Lee Miller game happened in Porky Cueve yesterday. A couple of our colleagues here were there, so we'll look forward to chatting to them later about how it went. 43,000 people in Porky Cueve yesterday for the game. Front page of the Irish Examiner. A lovely photograph of Lee Miller's children and... Um, uh, with their cousin on the front page they were in Parky Cueve yesterday it was uh, I, we think United won in the end went to a penalty shootout yeah. it finished 2 all, and then there was penalties but yeah. I didn't see the game because I was travelling so I think United won it. If, if you know the correct answer yeah. to that you might not answer us here but well, we think United the won the reason I wanted to know who won I was looking there on my phone is that um, I wanted to lead in nicely to United actually losing last night what the hell happened I don't know uh, okay, Cash. so you lost it. Now, it's Derby, right? Derby County. Not Derby. Yeah. Derby. Yeah, I heard people yeah. saying on the, the radio this morning when we went to work at Derby. Derby, yeah. It's Not on Radio Derby Curry. County, yeah. Uh, so Derby beat them. And of course, Frank Lampard is uh, their manager. He's so. the gaffer, yeah. Uh, and so Shea Givens. Shea Givens there is, oh, is, is, he is there, in too? there as well. Yeah, he's part of the coaching staff. So a uh, nice moment there for him against his old boss. Um, anyway, that, that that's not on the front page of the papers. So I just wanted to tell Andrew about it in front of you all. Uh, also on the front page of the Irish Examiner. It's one of the big stories inside the paper today. It's all about Owen Murphy, of course, and how he survived the motion of no confidence. The housing minister lives to fight another day. That's in the Irish Examiner as well today. Uh, the Irish Times ESRI doubles 2018 growth forecast for the Irish economy. The think tank warns its predictions are based on the assumption that a, dig- a Brexit deal will be struck, which doesn't look uh, certain at the moment. Uh, also, that's in the Irish Times this morning. In the Irish Mirror, uh, President Higgins launching his election campaign as details of unaudited €317,000 allowance has been revealed. And uh, one of the people it was in, I think it's on the front page of the Examiner actually, uh, no, here it is in the Times Ireland edition, but Gavin Duffy, one of the people running against him in the election, has now called for a retrospective audit of those expenses. So, like, what's going to happen with the presidential election now at the moment is Michael D is so far ahead of people. Mm-hmm. They're just hoping something big like this now will They're clawing. Ca- cause yeah. him to fall. So, you yeah. never know. Uh, that's in the Times Ireland edition. Uh, Bill Cosby pictured. That's trending, I would imagine, is it? Bill Cosby yesterday uh, leaving a court in the US in handcuffs after a judge... Um, called him a sexually violent predator and sentenced him for up to up to 10 years in jail. And that's on the front page of the Times Ireland edition, as is the story about Simon Harris and how the health minister is now set to push ahead with alcohol cancer labels. Uh, Bill Cosby isn't trending actually in Ireland this morning, which oh, is surprising. Oh, you would have thought he would be, yeah. Uh, Phil Jones is though, the Man United centre-back. He fell over, I watched the videos a while ago. He fell over in the funniest slash greatest ways, plural, Oh, no, no. Uh, possible in the Derby game last night. Phil Jones is known for when, uh, when you know, if he goes to header ball, he makes these unbelievably funny faces. Right. Like, he goes up to header ball and he'd be like... Okay. But yeah, then, yeah, obviously, yeah. some photographer somewhere gets the shot just yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, last night, there was a couple of instances and uh, I saw my favourite tweet was, Niall McGarry is Niall the owner of Joe.ie. Yeah, okay. Uh, I saw his tweet, he said, what is Phil Jones? <laughs> Like, what is he? That was my favourite tweet. Yeah, so he fell over quite a bit last night against Derby. Right, okay. The GMA Awards 2018 or 20, these are the gold medal awards which were held in Dublin last night and I've printed seven awards for Kerry this morning. Oh. Uh, the Brehan won Chef of the Year. The Country House Experience was Ardnessy Country House in Carra Lake in Kilorgan. Five Star Experience of a Spa was Espa at the Europe. Uh, four star was uh, Angsana Spa at the Brehan Hotel Breakfast was the Great Southern Judge's Choice was the Castlewood House Hotel and Outstanding Service was John Moriarty from the Park Hotel in Kenmare all won awards at the Gold Medal Awards last night in Dublin so congratulations to every one of you uh, massive um, spread there for Kerry it's and fantastic yeah looking through them there was like awards for Cork and Mayo and Wexford but I think Kerry with seven I think got the most which was we're good. blessed in Kerry with our hotels yeah. and 
restaurants well, you and only else. realize it when you go somewhere else and i've been away with people who live in other counties they're like oh we go there they have a lovely spa there mm -hmm. you go then you're like yeah it's, it's grand like you it's know nice, we're totally it's spoiled not. in Kerry with yeah, our spas and five-star hotels and all the rest um i know you want to talk about great british bake-off but you know i'm behind yeah like i never see it live so I haven't seen it, but I think two people were eliminated. But I don't well, know how much of it I want. I can't avoid it for the day, can I? Well, no, that's why I said Great British Bake Off is trending. And all I said for that exact reason, because yeah. I thought you might not have seen it yet, is yeah. another episode was on last night. I think I two people were eliminated because nobody was last week. Yes. Oh, that's true, actually. Yeah, yeah there was nobody uh, last and week. I saw a headline that Prue Leeds was sick. Oh, I didn't see it. I don't know. Like that's How far like, behind are you? That's two what episodes? Well, what we're watching last night is recorded two months ago. Two months ago, yeah. We'll be yeah. during the summer, yeah. So I don't know. Uh, I No, I'm just an episode. I just haven't watched last night's episode. Right. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, Doll Aaron is trending as well. As Elaine mentioned there, Owen Murphy survived the no confidence vote last night and now he's to crack on with various things ahead of the budget as well for his, uh, for, for his department. But um, yeah, that's also trending in Ireland this morning. Uh, the... The accusations that are pushed to Owen Murphy about him being too posh to be the housing minister, like whatever you think about what he's doing in housing, I think they're unfair. They're unfair. I think they're they unfair because you'd never say to somebody who grew up in a very working class area or a council estate, oh, do you, are you cut out to be the finance minister yeah. or, you know, because you didn't grow up with money. I, I think it's, I think it's unfair and like you can criticise his work if you want to, but I think these, and, and people criticise the fact that he's really handsome. Yeah, but which is just pointless, I think. So, you know, yeah, so, he's handsome. Yeah, like Good. he's not perfect. No politician is, and I'm by no means a Fine Gael supporter or Fine Gael member or anything like that. But when it comes to politics, just because you have a posh accent or because, yeah. uh, in his case, he's a good-looking lad, yeah, you know, doesn't mean that you get to tear his character yeah. down. You can you can go through his policies and things he's not done right, but absolutely, that's yeah. what he's there it's for. It's a low enough point yeah, of attack, really I think. You're handsome and posh. Therefore, you yeah, can't do your job. You know, yeah, yeah. Choose, choose something else. Anyway, that's not why the com uh, no vote. Yes, I know that. Com vote of no confidence was called. He's too handsome. We want to get rid of him. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so Owen Murphy is trending as well this morning. I was at a meeting last night about First Holy Communion. Congratulations. Are you going Thank to make you. yours? Uh, I, <laughs> I kind of felt Walked like I was preparing for mine. Um, yeah, do you know, maybe it brought me back to my own First Holy Communion Day. The priest was lovely. He asked us to think about our own First Communion Day. He was like, do you remember it? Do you remember what year it was? Do you remember what the weather was like? I'll ask you all the questions the priest asked me now. Okay, yeah. Do you remember what year it was? Yes, 1994. Do you... Oh, God, was it? Yeah. You're a little baby. Um, do you remember what the weather was like that day, Andrew? Yes. It started off quite grey and wet, to which my mother was freaking out. Okay. And then by the time we came out of the church after it was all over, we had a lovely sunny day. Oh, so that's nice. So it poured rain during the, the mass part, but after we came out, it was actually lovely. I Typically Irish, I would Typically say. Typically Irish, yeah. And do you remember what you were wearing? I do. I was wearing a, I have to get you a photograph, but I was wearing kind of a, a dark green suit. Oh. Yeah, I was mad Dar to get a suit. Darby McGill. Yeah, I was mad to get a suit, so I got a, I got um, a suit. suit. A dark green one, unusual. I'll, I've seen a photo of you. Is that your confirmation photo that I've seen? Yes. Oh, yeah. you look so young in that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so anyway, he was asking us to kind of jog our memories and go back down memory lane and to our first city community day. I remember being really cranky in my first city community day. Is that, uh, am I right in saying, is that because everyone's like, smile, come on, yeah, smile. I hated, you like I hated fuss. I still do to this day. Like, when people are at you. I know. I love like a fuss being made of me. Of course, yeah. Uh, but no, do you know, like, if, uh, I don't really like a party that's about me. Really? I know people might find that hard to believe. No, I, I, I get it, I get it. But it's like, yeah, it's like, smile, get in there now, get in with Nana for another photo. Go on, stand over there now with your neighbour. Like, I used to be, in every photo, I'm just like, the yeah, face. it's not great now. The, the photos face. are great. You know, every so often, actually, when it's Holy Communion time, we, we actually say, we, we share photos of us on our Holy Communion day. And then I just go home and I'm like, Oh. Do I have one on my phone? Probably not. I was cranky out. I didn't like the fuss. Um, it was a dull day. Oh, that was the confirmation one. Oh. Yeah. yeah You're was, so cute. Can we share that later? Oh, that, yeah, was okay. my, that was my confirmation photograph there. But uh, I don't know In my confirmation photo, I'm wearing culottes. Anyway, <laughs> uh, and a waistcoat, by the way, because that was the thing. Uh, um, we are for you girls. you get a date, by the way? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got a date, thanks. So you got? Yeah, you, I got a date. Thanks you, for asking me. Did you get a date for your your daughter's communion? Oh right, um, yeah. 
Uh, no, I meant uh, you know to bring a date to the uh, no. to bring a date uh, to the so communion. Will you be? Yeah. Do you get do you get the date in for the first confession? All that crack. Got about? that last night. Oh, brilliant! Yeah. Yeah. So loads of time now to be sinning between now and then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Well, yeah. it was lovely anyway that meeting. Um, that's about it from us. We're live on Radio Kerry here in about uh, four minutes time. And if you'd like to contact us, you want to get a request on the show, leave it here or text or WhatsApp us at 3 300. Uh, how many? Just by the way, are in your daughter's class? How I many are actually? Like there? twenty-six or something. Yeah, right. So, so take take that twenty-six and then add up all the time that they'll spend combined in confession, and then add yeah. it to the rest of the school if they were to do it. And I still wouldn't be anywhere near. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In there with the priest. Yeah. So I did this. I did that. I thought about this. I thought about that. Then I did this again. Then I did that again. Then I said <laughs> that. And I, and afterwards, I'm sure he could probably write a book like a Stephen King novel. <laughs> I used to kind of synopsize it. Yeah. Sorry for not doing stuff. I was bold. To do. Sorry about that. <laughs> ah, yeah. Okay. That'll be good, um, though. Looking forward to it. Yeah, no, it'll be lovely. Yeah. So have a great Wednesday, whatever you do get up to, and we will talk to you soon, shortly, on air. Have a good day. Morning. Morning. Coffee, 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 coffee. Nice coffee.